Welcome back to Soil Sage and Soul Siren with international soil expert Maury Small and environmentalist and health advocate Rebecca Reynolds. Good morning, Maurice. What Rebecca, a day. Rebecca, how are you? I am well, thank you. I'm I'm actually in a whirlwind of the energy that is being produced by nature that I'm negotiating. I'm I'm watching it flow over me and around me. And I'm knowing that I have to change my own inner currents. How about you? Doing well. Confidence is there. And the people that I've been working with recently, probably over the past 35 to 60 days, have shown equal confidence, but poor follow-up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, confidence on one side and poor follow-up on the other means that we're not making any progress. So here we go, Rebecca, take it away. <laughs> here we go. Here we go with uh, sitting pretty in Mars in retrograde soon. <laughs> I mean, it's still going on. Let's just face it. It's still going on Mars in retrograde. And, and what do we know? What do we know, at least uh, those of us who are connected to this earth and planet, that the outer planets are as much a part of us as um, the one we are currently standing on. And um, Mars is a, is, a, is a taskmaster in many ways. It's a warrior. And it's saying, yeah, you, you didn't finish what you probably need to finish. And so we're going to let you have some more tastes of that. Um, and so that's how I'm experiencing it, like deja vu in a sense of things that I thought were neatly tucked away. And now I am having to revisit them in eerily similar forms, but not exactly the same pattern, but, but enough that I recognize it. And, and it's, it's causing discomfort and chaos in my mind, which is probably why so many people are not getting back because they're in their own states of chaos. Are you feeling chaos um, around you also, Maurice? No, no, I'm, I'm not feeling chaos around me, like personally or in my family. Everything is, everything is pretty tight. Uh, there's a few members of my family who are making decisions to become less chaos oriented and mm. it's working out well for them. And people have been calling, I've been taking, I've been taking on new clients and new clients are in that chaotic form. So they know that there's solid respite in the brand, Marie Small brand. Mm -hmm. As a result, they're calling in, they're, they're seeing me at the compost pickup, they're talking about booking this and booking that, they're talking about how the earth has been able to talk with them, but they're not responding to the call of the earth. And that's why they're calling me. I'm like, well, why are you calling me? Well, I don't mind, I'll take your money, but you don't have to pay me to work with the earth, just listen to the earth. The earth will do it all for you. And much like you said a few minutes ago, Rebecca, there are other planets that are involved besides the one that we are on. Can you talk right. about that for a minute? Yes, I, you know, a lot of people um, have the notion that here we are on the earth and yet nothing else impacts us. And as all of the planets, you know, I'm not an astrologer, but I, but I know enough to be dangerous, meaning that I, I revere the outer planets. They have um, their own agency in this whole solar scheme, landscape, the whole solar landscape. They have their archetypes. So archetypes are, are coming up big time. And I won't go too far into that right now, but, you know, Mars is the warrior, the warrioress, if you wish. And it's bringing people to this inner war with their own selves, yet mm. they're exploding on the external um, with, I think, the hope to deflect what's happening in themselves, which we can never unsee or un, unremake because it's there for us to see. Nothing is in front of you that is not for you to see and that does not have a message. That's how I look at it. And so with this internal war going on and so many people who are unresolved, I'm begging this planet of peace 
to show up in the human element. This planet, which is really peace, Earth, is being hijacked by humanity's consciousness. And we need to flow with her intention. Her intention mm. is to supply for all, to love all. She has no other agenda than to keep replenishing so that she can show us the evidence of her true motherhood. So meanwhile, people are at war because they don't have enough. And there are really legitimate people, as you and I know, who don't, who are in a state of lack in a world where you and I have agreed together. There is no lack when we treat this planet right. There's mm -hmm. no lack for any of us. Mm -hmm. So the machine is raging and the machine is humanity. And, and yeah, and they're having their uh, coming home to baby Jesus moments of, you know, they they don't want to say I suck and I need to fix that you know and that's with love and respect I say that but it must be somebody else's problem and fault of why I feel so bad right right wow mm. wow so what's so, the solution really yeah that's the question I was gonna ask you. What's the solution? how about you how about you come up with two short solutions and i'll come up with two short solutions and we'll discuss those how about that i like it maurice i like when you set the agenda <laughs> i really do <laughs> <laughs> someone's got to do it so you know i i, I just want to say the first one is friends you're going to have to do the work the inner work mm -hmm. you you're you're whether that be breath work focus meditation movement meditate uh, meditations journaling the real truth of what you don't want to see about your human walk, you alone. This isn't about anybody but you and you. It's about doing the work. You're here. You're here. And are you sustainable in your own path? Mm. And that's my number one. What's your number one? My number one is the, is the word solution. Now, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're both speaking English, which is part of like four different languages. And I'm speaking yeah. ghetto English. You're very proper in your English. Thank oh, you. I don't know. <laughs> so That's giving me a lot of credit. I like, I like taking apart words to see what the root is. And mm. when it comes to solution, the first three letters are SOL. All right. Now, I will say soul as in sun in Spanish. Yeah. And yes. then I will say soul solution as in I'm the ghetto guy. So my my ghetto language is soul, S O U L, mm -hmm. solution, solution. And then the next letter, I believe if I spell it correctly, is you. Soul, you. I mean, how do you, we could just talk about that like for two more episodes. But <laughs> soul, you, where is your soul? And I think that these words come out of root causes of people mm. from thousands of years ago. And the root cause of the word solution is the sun, which is everything in our universe. Right. Every little thing in our universe is dictated by the sun and the gravity of said sun, the power of said sun, the light transmission, all of the pineal gland energy, all this energy comes from exactly. this one single thing, soul, sun. I mean, it, it goes so deep. So my first solution would definitely be, you know, let's slow down and let's look at it and let's take off our shoes and let's walk on it. Let's put our hands in the water and let's feel that movement. Let's do these things super slow because it's up to you. It's up to you. We have to make these decisions. Okay, number two. Oh my goodness. First of all, that was a mic drop. Everyone take a deep breath. <laughs> take a deep breath, you humans that are just skin around a soul. <laughs> you just you just pretend skin around a soul at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So the second one, uh, because you named really su such a key pivotal point of, you know, really being with, with the sun. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's expect delays, mm. expect delays. And therefore, um, 
allow yourself to know that it's not immediate. Nothing is supposed to be immediate other than love. That's it. Love should be the immediate everything because that is the only way we're going to crawl out of the demolition of all of our hate. Everyone's going to have to flood it with love. And and if it's a kumbaya moment, hallelujah. So I would say expect delays in terms of um, personal um, things that you want, um, what what Mm. other people do Mm. for you. Just Mm. know that this is going to take time. We are in a process, friends. We're in a process of demolition to do what? to rise up out of the ashes and become our truest self connected to the holiness of this entire planetary existence of the whole galactical, because they're not, they're not separate from earth. Although you've been led to believe, you know, they're a family. Let's look at it that way. And worse to be Mm -hmm. a family too. So that's, that's in essence, we are to be this human, humane family of which we are in bitter conflict with most of the family. So expect delays and while you're getting yourself in right order to say, I accept that all are part of me and that they have a right to be and that they deserve their natural rights. And I'm going to add that to the earth too. It deserves not to be demolished. So what's your number two, my friend? My number two is something that has been floating around, but becoming action over the past probably since the pandemic began, 2019, 2020, whenever that was. And it's a verb. It's literally looking at life as a verb. I Hmm. think that capitalism makes us look at life as a noun. And a noun is that wonderful statement, but it's a bullshit statement. So hold your kids' ears, this ain't gonna be pretty. (laughs) There's, There's a lot of crap involved in nouns. Ah, da, 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 guns, ah, da, 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 law, ah, da, da. people are just like raising a ruckus over these nouns. And there's this whole thing about, to me, in my world with, with, uh, with these plants, there's a whole thing about, well, you know, the plant comes from somewhere and it does something. And yeah, it's something, i.e. a noun, but it is doing something and it's in a process. Verbs are about process. Verbs are about mm. that that action. And there's action verbs, of course, all the English language crap that we learned in school. And these action verbs are really out of control because they're, to me, they're very passive in the best way. Like you were talking about the earth. There's, there's things about how the verb can refer to doing something. And that's what I believe our podcasts are about. We're encouraging people to do something. We're encouraging people to listen to the earth. We're encouraging people to walk with each other in harmony. We're encouraging people to put down the weapons and pick up the love that you just mentioned. Verbs, verbs. Okay, let me ask you this now. Hmm. Okay, what's your favorite verb, Rebecca? (laughs) You know it, love. (laughs) <laughs> love is my favorite verb because it encompasses <laughs> <laughs> like what we were born to do and mm. it, it's safe enough to say most people out there are wrong in their approach you know in terms of if it's not love then they're missing out on all the goodness they just lost dessert <laughs> and the appetizer so how about you what is your favorite verb well, there's, there's, you know, there's transitive verbs, there's linking verbs, there's action verbs. I used to love action verbs. Like two years ago, it was about the action <laughs> verbs. And then the, then the uh, pandemic came and it was like, okay, we need the transitive verbs. And then like right now that we're, you know, after the pandemic, but we're still like on the edge of all this crap and people are still, you know, whatever. It's a helping verb. So I like helping mm. verbs, helping wor- verbs like do. And uh, the, the, the musician has to play the music with the slow tempo to put the child to sleep. Uh, we're helping verbs like um, be, like as in I'm going to be 
late for our meeting because I'm still walking on the grass. You know, things like mm -hmm. helping verbs, things that help. And as we have these verbs in our lives and we look at words because words, oh my goodness. Okay, we got to have like in two more episodes, you got to have like a thing about <laughs> words and how powerful words are. Right? So right. helping verbs, if we could just be like helping verbs for like a month, watch what happens. You people out there listening to this, become a helping verb for 30 days. That's the 30 day Rebecca and Maurice challenge. Become Ooh. a helping verb for 30 days and let <laughs> us know what happened in your life. Okay. Oh, I that's like it. it. All and right. That was a good <laughs> slam dunk. High five in you from here. That's the end of this episode of Maurice Vaughn, Rebecca Reynolds, Siren and Soul. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.